Chapter 1333, 100 Days Insight, Lin Ming sank his thoughts into the divine dream Jade Slip. He felt a slight aching pain in his spiritual sea as if he were being stabbed by needles. This feeling was because the thoughts contained within the divine dream Jade Slip were far too fierce. Lin Ming didn't doubt that even if one didn't cultivate the divine dream law, just reading through this divine dream Jade Slip would be greatly beneficial exercise to the divine soul. The energy within the divine dream Jade Slip was similar to a tiny shock that prodded the growth of one's soul. If one read over this Jade Slip for a long time, it would help boost one's soul and will. The Divine Dream Jade Slip was divided into many sections. The first section was mostly related to illusions arts. These illusions ranged from attacks to concealment skills to even illusory magic arrays. It included all topics. Among them was a concealment skill called the bodily rebirth technique. If a Divine Lord Realm Martial Artist were to use this ability, not even a Great World King would be able to recognize him. In fact, this was no longer solely an illusion. Rather, it was combined with all sorts of changes of the body and soul. This appearance changing technique didn't have any striking power, but it was still very practical. Then, there was the ruling spirit art, divine dream space, dream soul immortal melody, dream interpretation, and all sorts of other top cultivation methods that Frost Dream had displayed during the first martial meeting. All of them were recorded in clear detail on the divine dream jade slip. It could be said that this jade slip was a compilation of the top core inheritances of divine dream heavenly palace. In this aspect, even if Granny Mirage didn't do anything, she still didn't plan on hiding anything from Lin Ming. This was because Granny Mirage knew that Lin Ming wouldn't be able to learn much, if anything at all, during the 100 days he was given. The Divine Dream Jade Slip was comprehensive, involving all sorts of incomparably complex laws and runes. If one didn't have a certain level of understanding already, it would be extremely difficult to remember all of this. Even a Divine Sea Realm martial artist with photographic memory would be able to do so. This was just like a mortal chess master being able to clearly note and remember every move he made. He would be able to recall every movement and location of the chess pieces, reproducing them all in his mind. But, someone who didn't understand chess would find this impossible. Even if they were to see it over 10,000 times they would still find it impossible to recall. This divine dream jade slip is truly profound and all-encompassing. Although I can remember the contents in 100 days, I will be destined to have many things that I am confused about. Lin Ming was very grateful to MP Rin divine dream. She didn't mind allowing Lin Ming to read through the complete core inheritance she had passed down. This was not a small favor. Perceiving the laws was a very boring process. However, Lin Ming wholeheartedly sank his mind into the process, rapidly enlightening himself on the laws. In terms of diligence and torturous cultivation, Lin Ming was no worse than Hank Hai. A true martial artist needed an essential morality and ability to resist loneliness. After all, even a mortal couldn't withstand going into seclusion for several years or even dozens of years. Like this, Lin Ming sat down and pondered. From time to time he would wander back and forth, and sometimes he would even draw imagines in the air. Slowly, the divine dream law in Lin Ming's mind became increasingly clear. I see. So the divine dream space is an enchantment created by a martial artist, flooded with divine dream energy, and then controlled with spirit source. Lin Ming touched the soul marks in his spiritual sea. He could sense the dreamland energy he absorbed from within the divine dream space come scattering outwards. Underneath Lin Ming's control, all sorts of changes occurred. Because of the existence of the magic cube, Lin Ming could clearly see the circulation path of divine dream energy. In fact, his sight was even clearer than that of the disciples of divine dream heavenly palace. The magic cube itself was a world treasure of the highest level condensed from the divine of the universe's essence, energy, and divine. If one had the ability to truly move the magic cube to kill others, then even an MP Rin might be instantly killed. But as he was, Lin Ming could only use a small portion of its strength. Even so, using it to train was greatly beneficial to one's divine soul. Unconsciously, a layer of enchantment began to appear around Lin Ming. As for Lin Ming, he fell into a deep trace, ignoring all, thoroughly entering into a sea of the divine dream law. He was like a dry seabed, greedily absorbing the rain. Time passed, training had no time or rhythm. When Lin Ming forgot time, 100 days was far too short. It's been 100 days. As Lin Ming was deep in contemplation, the voice of an old woman suddenly resounded in his ears. This voice was a bit crude as well as a bit overbearing. Lin Ming opened his eyes. In front of him, streams of light gathered together, eventually forming into an old woman drowning in voluminous robes. Her skinny figure was completely mismatched with the clothes that draped all over her. She was Granny Mirage. Have you finished looking through it? Granny Mirage said with a ridiculing smile. She didn't think that Lin Ming could have truly seen through and remembered the contents of the Divine Dream Jade Slip in this time. The reasons were twofold. First, Lin Ming didn't possess spirit source and second, he didn't have a teacher to guide him. In this situation, if Lin Ming was able to learn the Divine Dream Law then he truly was bizarre let alone learning it, it would be impossible for him to remember the contents of the Divine Dream Jade Slip. This was because the things inside were simply far too complex. If one didn't under the laws governing it, how could they possibly remember all of these extremely complex law runes? Lin Ming shook his head, honestly saying, I haven't. 100 days was enough for Lin Ming to glance over the entirety of the Divine Dream Jade Slip. But to unconsciously comprehend the laws within and deduce them to perfect levels in his mind, 100 days was far from sufficient. He <laughs> Granny Mirage sneered loudly, with an expression on her face saying that she already expected this. Granny Mirage believed that Lin Ming had nefarious reasons for coming to Divine Dream Heavenly Palace. She believed that he wanted to capture the young women here. After all, every girl here was an outstanding individual. 
If he could take their primordial yin, that would be greatly beneficial to him. If this wasn't what he was doing here, then why would he choose to study the divine dream law, something he couldn't possibly hope to understand? She couldn't figure out just why divine dream had agreed to this young boy's request. But, since divine dream had agreed, she couldn't oppose her decision. After all, divine dream was the true master of divine dream heavenly palace. Good, then I shall give you 100 more days. This is also the final 100 days. The divine dream jade slips are extremely limited in divine dream heavenly palace. There are three sets, two of them copies and one of them the original. It is impossible for me to let you hold on to it forever. This point was not Granny Mirage trying to make things difficult for Lin Ming. The situation was the same in any sect. The inheritances of transcendent divine might were extremely precious and every disciple was given a very limited time to study them. Lin Ming was disinclined to bother with Granny Mirage's rude attitude. He said, I'm not in a hurry to perceive the divine dream jade slip. I have many areas I am still confused about. For the next 100 days I would like to borrow the texts in Library Pavilion. Before, Granny Mirage had said that if Lin Ming wished to read something from Library Pavilion, he could send for someone to deliver the books to him. However, only he knew what he truly wanted to read, thus it was more convenient for him to go himself. Granny Mirage frowned. She originally wanted to refuse this, but upon thinking of something, she mockingly said, If you wish to go to Library Pavilion, you may.